So this is our Opus 15 violin, and on this I put a uh, tape down the middle, two coats of uh, propolis, just brushed on, let it dry between coats, and waited about uh, four or five hours, and then we um, rubbed it down with Dutch brush in a circular motion like I did on the top, and did two coats. I also did the ribs and uh, brushed those down and put in the corner blocks and then block. So, uh, before these were just even, okay, so we turn it over, and treated is this side, this side's treated, that side's still untreated. So the, the treated side's louder, and it's kind of a richer. Now this violin was done before I knew about the uh, propolis and Dutch rush, and so the outside uh, doesn't have these treatments. I normally would recommend you go ahead and do two coats of propolis, and after it's dry, then do two coats, scrub down with Dutch rush twice. Um, and then also do the outside. If you're going to stain or dye, do the staining and dyeing first, then do the propolis and then the Dutch rush. And you'll have to do color samples first because you can see how much that darkens the wood. So that throws off all your colorations. And then uh, on top of that, just do regular varnish. Okay? So again. If you tap it gently, it sounds kind of absorbed a little bit, and it's coming off a little bit. Sound sounds like in, off. So this should have better projection as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, of course, is just take off the uh, tape strip, and I'll do the two coats of propolis, and when that's dry, then we'll Dutch rush it, and then we'll be um, ready to put this back together again. And I think I mentioned it before, but uh, rather than putting on a label, which interferes with the, uh, it adds a little wood grain on the outside, changes the tone of the plate strips, I'm just writing my information on it in the future. So it's not quite as uh, handsome maybe, but it's better acoustically. Good.